praying like crazy all morning so that I can have strength, so that I can have peace of mind, and that I will be mentally ready to have this baby. I need to calm down. <laughs> Are you eating? This I'm is, cheating right this now. This is your last meal. Because once you go inside that building... They're really mean and they say, you can't eat anything or you'll puke on us, and that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> so you're getting some fries and sandwich before we go in yeah. there. My hair look okay? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> you didn't realize I was filming you, did you? <laughs> I thought you might be soon. <laughs> Bellies are so stretchy. <laughs> to be able to like look like this and within like six months or a little while to look normal again? Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Totally crazy. We're here. I just had this sudden urge. I was like imagining this edited, and then I was, had this certain, certain urge to like skip ahead and see what the baby looks like in the video. Don't skip ahead. I want to skip ahead. <laughs> I don't want to go through the pain of it. Let me just skip that part. And I'll just skip ahead to the baby part. That sounds good. There we go. That's what we want. Oh. You ready for this? Never. Never ready. And at the same time, absolutely, I'm sick of being pregnant. <laughs> this is your new hotel room. Okay, guys, here we are. This is it. You are having instructions. I'm in the middle. Yeah, you are. They're like three or four minutes apart. We just got checked in, just got all hooked up. I'll show you guys a little bit around the room here that we got a tour. So I've got my tripods, everything's ready to go over here. Extra cameras, tons of cameras. All my batteries and chargers are back here. This is the nice camera for photography in my backpack down there. Becca's bags, some paperwork. Over here we have the woman of the day. All ready. <laughs> <laughs> to deliver, you're looking pretty good. Oh, this is always so nerve-wracking. You're gonna do great. And then over here, this is the heartbeat of the baby. They say they want to keep the line, keep the baby's heartbeat in the blue line, and it looks pretty good. And then this was the first contraction a few minutes ago, and then she just ended a second contraction right there. Yeah, so I'm having contractions. You are. I'm coming in to be induced, but it's like. So your body's just ready my to do it. I bet if my water was broken, I would start having a whole bunch of really strong contractions. I wonder what I'm at. Dilated. Too. Dilated? We'll find out when the doctor gets here. Or if the nurse checks you, maybe. Yeah. So I'm wearing my new beach house t shirt today to celebrate the birth of the baby. Did you bring the baby's onesie that says beach house? Ah, uh, okay, we'll have to get pictures, so. I'm really nervous and I'm excited and I just feel like everything's gonna go really, really great and I'm ready to feel anything that comes our way. <laughs> Getting your IV hooked up, huh? Yeah. Don't look. All right, I have my IV in. I have my monitors on my belly that are kind of monitoring. This one's for the baby's heartbeat and this one is for contractions. And I've been having contractions about three to five minutes apart consistently and that's without doing anything. No induction whatsoever. I'm just consistently having that which has been the same all this morning. Michael's about to do something really funny. <laughs> Explain. We have a family Marco Polo group. Yeah. Which is like, it's just an app where you like send video messages to each other. Yeah. And everybody's been making guesses in the family group. Marco Polo asking, you know, okay, everybody guess how big is the baby going to be? How many pounds? So everyone's like, oh, I think he's going to be seven pounds, five ounces or whatever. And so I'm getting ready to post a picture of Rebecca right after she had Charlie. <laughs> And, and say something like, Welcome! He's here! He's here! You know? Welcome, baby boy B! Even though it's not real, just to <laughs> make everybody angry. I'm really interested to see if any of them are like, Hey, that's a picture from when Charlie was born! Or if they're just like, He looks just like Charlie! <laughs> Ellie? I guess that's true. Charlie was very small. My baby picture. Your baby picture? It will be too. No, that's too <laughs> old. It looks. It looks like an old picture. Are you sure that looks? That looks it's like. It's too old. Okay, fine. <laughs> you gotta get one that's at least like Ellie. Okay. Cause Ellie, I bet 
everybody thinks this baby's kind of big. And Ellie was kind of a big baby. And Charlie was small. And Charlie was really small. And I we had him way early, so it would make more sense if he was big. Okay, this is the picture we're gonna post. <laughs> See what they say. <laughs> Should I say like, welcome Chester? You know, just like some weird name. <laughs> you know? And like Sure. Not too weird. Make it kind of a normal-ish name, but one that we're not gonna use. Okay. So that they are like, oh, that must be it. Humphrey. We're not Humphrey. We're not gonna call him. We're not gonna call him Humphrey. I'm sorry if your name is Humphrey. <laughs> not because it's a bad name. Just okay. because. All right, I got the picture ready. Okay, everybody. He is here. He is healthy. Everything went so fast. We couldn't even believe it. Welcome to the world, Chester. Uh, he's seven pounds, three ounces, and just so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> We're so sneaky. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I feel so dirty. Recycling it. <laughs> I feel really just bad. Just see what they say. I want to see what they say next. Okay, all right. Okay. It looks like an old picture. <laughs> 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 Grandma's even in the background. <laughs> Hello guys, what do you gotta say? What's Grandma in the background? Uh, I think you're yeah, I think there's somebody in the background oh, right no. there. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, that's an old picture. Oh well. <laughs> they totally called it. <laughs> well, find another picture, drag it. <laughs> Just kidding. The baby has hiccups. You can hear it over the monitor and you can see it my Close jump. <laughs> it's like every four, three, four seconds. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So all joking aside, um, I don't think we've even mentioned yet today that we actually had an appointment scheduled today to come in and have Rebecca be induced. She's officially at 39 weeks today, and the doctor said we can't induce before 39 weeks. So we said, okay, on the day at 39, let's schedule it. We've never done that before. We've never, yeah, so we're like, you know what, if she hasn't had the baby all by on her own before that, then let's just plan on that. So we had an appointment today. The only induction per se that we've ever had was with Corbin, and we were, I was at a five, dilated to a five, and he, the doctor sent me to the hospital because he's like, you live an hour away from the hospital, you're going to have the baby on the freeway if you don't go to the hospital. Yeah. So I went to the hospital, and then they broke my water, and then Corbin was born really quickly. Right, so... We're hopeful she just got checked and she's dilated to a four now. Last week on Friday she was dilated to a three. You have to and get then, to a ten. Right, to be able to have the baby she has to be dilated to a ten, which is ten centimeters. She's progressing and she's doing better and feeling pretty optimistic and all hooked up and ready to go. The doctor should be coming in. It's Is it really almost five? I feel like it's just barely four. I'm gonna check my phone to be sure. Yeah, oh my gosh, we've been here for two hours. Yeah, but the doctor's gonna be coming soon, hopefully, and he's gonna break her water. And then right after that, you're gonna get your uh, epidural, right? Yeah. And then once you've got the epidural and the water's broke, it's go time. And we're gonna try and see how quick you can progress and push out that baby. <laughs> I'm really excited. How soon we can head out? Make like babies and head out. <laughs> I think everything's gonna go really well. Go ahead and curl your back for me just a little bit. Just like a little bit. You want to lean forward a little. Getting your epidural in. Alright, the hard part's over. Oh my goodness. You got your epidural. Here's the, here's the line of the epidural going over to this machine right here. Yeah. It's going to keep pumping you with I think that numbing this agent. is how thick. I think this goes straight into my back. That little wire right there? Yeah. Like, I don't, I think that's the thickness of it. Yeah. Which makes sense because it hurts a lot. <laughs> it makes me like. <sighs> Angry? <laughs> so, how are you feeling? Are you feeling I any can numbness? Feel that. Like, I can feel you touching me, but it's like really super tingly. Like, when you're at the dentist office. Oh, yeah. And you're like. Is your belly numb? Yeah, it, it feels the same. It's all tingly. Okay. Like it's just. How about down here in your foot? I, it's all. It, I can feel my toes almost perfectly. Okay. But, but like you go to my heel. Yeah. And it starts to get tingly, and then beyond that is like. Tingly. Okay. So. Uh, 
it's so weird but in a way i'm like calmed down and thinking okay i want my water to break now like you're I want, ready like i want things to just start happening oh, oh. my goodness shaking is happening though you can start making things happening you know the secret pass password <laughs> The doctor will be here soon to break your water. I want to wait until then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, what did you just discover? I can have jello. <laughs> I never knew I could have jello. Well, they never offered you jello with any of your no, other pregnancies. Like, you can have water. I think they used to say popsicle too. I think ice. They used to give you like crushed ice crushed that you could ice. chew. You can have crushed ice. And I'm like, you're trying to starve me to death? Is this a torture tape? But someone discovered that you can eat jello. So I just ate jello and I'm so happy because I love jello. <laughs> <laughs> also, this feeling of having an epidural is comforting to me. It's weird and it's not like I have the urge to push right now. I know I'm not that far along yet, but it almost made me feel like, oh, now I push. Like just, yeah, mem like muscle memory. Yeah. Even though it's not time to push. I just You're feeling like, more numb now? I'm definitely feeling more numb. But it's like also very comforting to be numb. Knowing that if you had any pain, it would, you wouldn't feel it. Yeah. You're doing great. It makes me relieved. I'm a little shaky though. I can barely feel that. You just barely, barely, barely feel that? Yeah. Now I'm just like, when is the doctor going to get here? Right now, water, make this happen. Come on. <laughs> what does that mean? The hands like above the head. So the baby's doing this. So it's like it's probably like checking out like who's touching me. Hey, hi. <laughs> so there's a hand right there. I just want to wait till the hand gets out of way. So I don't want a hand to come out because that makes it dangerous. Oh yeah. We're getting an ultrasound to just check to make sure that baby's good. Could you, do you think you could feel the baby's head, but then the hands were above yeah, the head? Almost or? like I could feel the head and the head shifted a little bit. I mean, the hand was above it, and then I could still feel the hand, but I felt something softer, not not necessarily a hard head. So I just want to make sure it's in the right location. Yeah. So the head's in the right direction. Okay. That's good. I'm going to feel it again to see if baby shifts a little bit. I may have you kind of have the nurses help me push on the belly a little bit just to kind of guide the head in the right direction. Again, I won't break it unless that head is well engaged. This makes me very happy that I got the other girl already. Did you ever do that? Did you ever do that? Did you ever do So the baby's head is not quite engaged enough and the baby's hand keeps hanging out in that same area so the doctor is not going to break the water yet. So he's hoping that she can have some more contractions and that will kind of move the baby's head where it needs to be. And if we give him time and are a little bit patient, maybe he'll move his hand. The doctor said at this point, because the water's not broken, there's really nothing. Like, we're not past the point of no return at this point. If we need to even wait a day or, or whatever, we, ha we can. So we're just waiting at this point to hopefully make it happen. So you're having pretty consistent contractions nowadays. They're like every minute or two, three apart. It's just after eight. Yeah, I can't believe it's been this long already. And they've got you on Pitocin too to help make things go Which quicker. we've never done with any yeah. of the other kids. But I don't feel bad about it. She was just checked again just a second ago and she's still at a four. And at this point we're basically hoping that the baby's head will engage a little bit more so that we can break the water safely. And then the baby's hand will move out of the way. Hopefully the baby's hand moves out of the way, but once we break that water and the head engages further, I think those centimeters are going to start dilating a lot faster. I just, I was hoping we could have the baby while it was still light outside and it looks beautiful outside. But in about mm, an hour from now, it's 8.15, in an hour it's going to be dark. So we're like, ooh, I want to have the baby now. I really don't want it to be another 12 hours before the sun comes up. <laughs> so we're probably going to so, have the baby in the dark. That's right. 
Well, it is what it is. At least they have lots of lights around here, so it should be yes. nice and bright in here. And the most important thing is that the baby's healthy and that you're healthy. So if we have to wait until after dark, that's okay. You're doing great, babe. Even though all these contractions I've been having, which is very typical for me, if you don't, like, if my water's not broken, I don't really progress that much. Yeah. So, unless it's, like, slowly over a week, and then I progress, like, a centimeter at a time or something. <laughs> Ooh, I think I can feel this a little bit. Yeah. But you're pretty numb. Kind of. And there's some places I can feel things, so. Yeah. But I, it's not, like, terrible, so I'm not, like, pushing the epidural button, like, I have feeling. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I can feel something there. You're doing great. <laughs> How's the head still in the right place? Still there, yeah. Good. I think I can already feel like he's all excited. Less pressure. Well, yeah. Because <laughs> that was like a little bit. How much water do you think has come out? Well, when we st a lot. When we <laughs> when we stage it for like like for like notes and stuff, it's like minimal, moderate, large. This is definitely large. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we're definitely past the point of no return at this point. Yay! Yeah. That's great. I didn't want to go home after all this. <laughs> He's not with that baby in my arms. That's right. In my belly. So it is 9 o'clock right now. Okay, it's starting to get dark outside. It's after 9. I Just broke your water. I'm happy because the baby's hand moved. Yes. And we, the doctor said if he pushed down really hard on the top of my stomach, it would make the baby's head go in the right place. So he had the nurse push down on my stomach and it made the baby's head go in the right place and then he broke the water very slowly, but there was so much water. <laughs> he was like, wow, that's a lot of water. Whoa, that's a lot of water. Whoa, that's a lot of water. <laughs> and he, then he started apologizing to the nurse because she's like, she wasn't prepared. Just she coming and coming she just like put like one check thing underneath it to catch the water and it wasn't enough. And then that she was like- That was a ton, like that almost. I don't know, what is it kind of like? Like, seriously, like when you normally deliver the baby, there's like a gush of water. Really? Yeah, usually when you break the water, it's just like a little water balloon, kind of yeah. a little pop and just a little bit and then the head plugs it up. Yeah. Like all the water came out, like tons of water. Really? Yeah, like there's not going to be a lot left over, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad the baby's head's in the right place. <sighs> that contraction that's next, it's, it's actually putting on it more. She's at least a. Oh, seven. Oh, seven. Okay. Hey. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. Probably. So five to seven? Yeah. In about an hour, that's great. So Doc was just here. He just checked me and I got a seven. Seven. And what did he say? Faced? I think last 75% or something. 75, yeah. yeah. But he said the head is like right there. So close. The doctor's just like, hey, let us know when you're ready to start pushing. Yeah. Or if you're feel, feeling, feeling pressure, pressure. like. It's gonna happen so soon. Oh, I'm so, so excited. I'm so tired. <laughs> well, this is a good chance to take a little break, maybe. Just kind of take it easy and then let your body progress naturally. Yeah. So, right now, what Rebecca's doing is just kind of resting, and she's not asleep. She's really feeling tired, and so she's just kind of closing her eyes and trusting her body and letting her body naturally work through the process of birth. We've done this four times, and this process is very familiar to me. That's why I feel like I can explain it in a way that's accurate. I'm not just assuming what's going on. 
Um, oh, she just is agreeing with me, so she's awake, she's hearing me. I was trying not to disturb her because I know that she's not got a lot of energy. She's just kind of really tired and just trying to let her body do the work without her consciously trying to make the ha changes happen, and so. I could not do this if I didn't have an epidural to let me be calm. Yeah, the epidural's taking away all the pain from the process. Because the epidural's taking away the pain, she's able to just calmly wait and rest as her body is progressing through contractions and... Oh, the baby's got hiccups again! Do you hear that? You guys listen. Ah. There it is. That's cute. That's the second time he's gotten hiccups during this labor. He had hiccups earlier during the labor too. Oh yeah, sure. There we go. So anyway, I just want to let you guys know that it kind of slowed down. I mean, I don't want to say we slowed down because in all reality, she's probably getting closer to a 10 every minute. So we're making progress, things are happening, but it's just happening naturally. So we're just kind of waiting at this point. Once, as the baby, she just explained to me that her stomach is feeling more empty. This part right here, getting a little more empty. Yeah. And like between my legs is a little bit more pressure. <clears throat> yeah. Not enough to be like, I need to push, but just enough to be like, oh, during this contraction, I can feel it's going down. You know? Your epidural's perfect, because you still have mobility, but the yeah. pain is gone. Oh, I'm excited to see this baby. See what it looks like to like, feel his, feel and see his personality, and just, it's exciting, you yeah. know? It's exciting to have our family grow. It's such a miracle. Yeah. The whole process is, it's hard, it's difficult, but you know when you work so hard for something, you appreciate it? Yeah. That's how I feel. Like, when the baby actually comes out, I will feel like I earned it. Seriously. <laughs> like, it's so, so worth it. But in the middle of it, it's just kind of like, oh, so yeah. difficult. This, like, I seriously think I was the worst, I was scared the most about the epidural. Yeah. Once the epidural is over, now I just feel like, oh, Whenever I feel like I need to push, I'll just push. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a while since the last update. It's uh, almost 1.30 in the morning right now. It's the next day. Becca's has been just kind of off and on sleeping and lots of contractions. She's progressed to about a nine, I think, it was the last that we just checked a few minutes ago. Almost a 10, almost full. Um, she's getting a little bit of the Adrenaline. Adrenaline shakes. Do you want to call the nurse? Is it time? Feeling. Feeling a little bit of pressure? You want to start pushing maybe? Or? Lots of pressure, but I don't know if I'm like ready to push. We ought to have her come in here anyway just to see since she said that's the point that they want to be in here for. You feeling okay? Just shaky. And I said that was a sign that you're full, you're complete, too. So you've got this kind of big ball thing in between your legs to help open things up. You okay? Should I go get the nurse? Uh, yeah. You're not cold. It's just adrenaline, I think. Your body is going into adrenaline mode. Okay, well, I think I'll go get the nurse anyway. Oh. What? Well, I just like, remember when Corbin, like, we, we kind of got to sit for a while? Yeah. But maybe, yeah, maybe we should go get the nurse. <laughs> Okay, I'll go get her. No, I'm not like nervous. I just am like shaky. Yeah. Can you give me a water? Okay. So what just happened? Not a ten. The nurse just came in and checked you. Not a ten, and you're super shaky. <laughs> oh, shaky. I'm like good for a couple seconds, and then all of a sudden I just <sighs> got crazy. So she just checked her and it's like, yep, there's the head. 
100%, I'm calling a doctor right now. So I've got the tripod, I've got a couple other tripods here, I'm trying to make sure I get all the best angles so that we can get a really good video for you guys and document the whole process. I'm really excited. It's about time to start pushing. Okay, all the cameras are rolling. This is it. Do I grab the other leg? Is that the front side? Yeah. Okay. I've done that before. Just take a deep breath in. And hold it. Change your chest and push back on those legs and push as hard as you can down your bottom. Good job, right there. Push hard, 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 hard. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Nine and ten. Good job. Long brown hair. <laughs> really? That's more hair than I do, but that's easy. Gosh, you can't. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow and steady. Good job. Steady, steady, steady. Take a deep breath. Just kind of slow and steady. I said it's tough. Hello! Happy birthday! Hello! Hi, Bubba! Hello! What was that? Three pushes? That was three pushes? That was three pushes! Let's see if you did a little bit. There we go! That's what we want! All yours. Go this. Oh boy, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Check him out real quick. You just make it be and you're still alive. Good job, you did it. He's great. He's perfect. See that was perfect. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm relieved in so many ways. <laughs> no, Literally. No tears. No tears? No tears. Oh, Good job. Yay. Do you want me to wave over here before? Sure. Wow. Everything looks great, babe. He's a good looking baby boy. Yay! Yeah. 22. Biggest baby by far. Wow. <laughs> Okay. He's like, okay, I feel good. <laughs> Are you so happy? Oh, I'm so happy. I got a baby and I'm not pregnant. I'm so happy. <laughs> How are you feeling about that name? I need to think. <laughs> okay. And we'll get back to you on that. Yeah. Right. Hello. <laughs> He's trying to lift his head up already. <laughs> He looks like Jared. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty so bright out here, pretty. huh? Extra bright. <laughs> He's like, it's, it's too bright. <laughs> He's been nursing for the last half hour. Mm -hmm. And he's been doing a great job. He seems really happy. He is very happy. He's not even worried. What a sweetie. <laughs> he has his own look. Each of the kids surprise me when they come. I'm like, they, like, they look a little bit like each other, but they have their own look. It's about to, time for bed, I think. It's 3 a.m. over here at the hospital. Becca did an amazing job today. She pushed out a baby. <sighs> The baby's healthy and Rebecca's healthy and he's and already nursed. He's already been nursing, like it's literally just the perfect baby birth ever. We are still not set on a name yet, so we'll probably be announcing that tomorrow when yeah. we have a chance to kind of sleep on it a little bit and think about it. Say hello to the world. They're gonna be watching your every move. Hello out there in YouTube land. He's looking all around. Are you ready for this video today, dude? Say yeah! You're the star of the show, you know that, right? <laughs> He's like, what? My family does YouTube? No! <laughs> <laughs> and I know that everybody's been waiting forever to know the name. We haven't told anyone the baby's name. In fact, we didn't feel like we even really knew the baby's name. That's why I didn't want to tell anybody, because I was like, well... We haven't decided. I have an idea. Like, we both had kind of ideas on what we wanted to call him, but we didn't know um, for sure. We never feel like, oh, we know exactly what this baby's name is. The only one I've had that with was, I guess, James, James. and Ellie. Once we saw her ultrasound, I was like... Because I wanted to call her Charlie. That's right. <laughs> I wanted to call her Charlie, that's like right. as a girl's name, and then that didn't fit. That, when you watch the ultrasound, you're like, that's not like, right. No, she's girly. She has to be a girly girl, which is good because she's got a lot of brothers. <laughs> and they wouldn't know Charlie. Ellie's a girl name. <laughs> she needed yeah. a girl name. Charlie fits Charlie really well. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so, we ha oh, and I knew Charlie, too. I just remembered. You knew before. Charlie's name? Yeah. That's right, because you were kind of like thinking about it for Ellie's name, but then you felt good about it for Charlie's name. Yeah. So his name we were thinking about for a long time, several months. We had a few ideas that we were kind of playing with, but weren't quite officially decided on. We hadn't decided. We actually took, we only just to, was it last night, decided on the name? Last sure. night, yep. Like, we, we didn't wanted to tell see the him nurses. first. We didn't tell the doctors until we had been with him a whole day. Yeah. Basically. And we wanted to make sure that we saw him before we officially decided. Because we actually had a name decided. Yeah. Like for a ninety nine percent decided for at least a month. Yeah. But we were like not official. It's never official until we meet the baby, I feel like. And it was so weird. And then last minute it changed. Yeah, I was like, Oh, I wanna name the baby this and it just was I was planning on it and planning on it and planning on it and then finally it was like no that doesn't fit oh no what am I gonna do yeah <laughs> so I, f um, I remember with James the name came to me in a dream and I remember feeling really good about that yeah um, but I also remember you and I spent a lot of time looking at baby name books we did we haven't like, looked at this one at all right but I feel like we did with all the other kids yeah. But with him, we didn't look at one baby name book. <laughs> we asked you guys for baby name suggestions, yes. like on Instagram. And we totally looked and, at them. And, and you did a video them, did on your channel them, yeah. talking about people's baby name suggestions. And it was mm -hmm. fun. It was awesome yeah. hearing like all the name suggestions. But one of the most <sighs> interesting things was not one person suggested the name that we were wanting to go with. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> Um, which is actually a family name. Yeah. I want to explain something, though. Okay. Why we don't tell anyone the name beforehand. We have learned that it's hard enough for both me and Michael to agree on a baby name. Yeah. Um, but when we have so many family members and people close to us all the time, if we tell people what we think about a name it's usually shot down. Like, oh, that's really the name? And we're like, 
yeah and then we feel really bad so like and it's like they ruined the name for us before we've even seen the baby to decide so we're like nope this is just something between me and michael and we don't keep a lot of things just between me and michael that's right we're pretty we open people. A lot. <laughs> but we've both been like oh what do you think about this name and we just really love that name and then you know you might be like oh i hate that name or i might be like oh that name reminds me of this person that always bullied me in elementary yeah. school <laughs> yeah. so like, we, it's hard for both of us to agree on a name, and then to have everybody else's opinions mm -hmm. makes it a hundred times harder. Yeah, so this is just our opinion only, and if we feel good about it, then we'll do it. And, and also, I have a lot of siblings that want to have kids too, or that are planning on having kids, and they have certain names that they like, and if we feel good about a name, we're not going to okay it with everyone else before, and then, you know, have... Uh, <laughs> have a lot of them shot down because they're like, no, I want to use that name one day, you know? Right. <laughs> that was so, going to be the name I was going to use. I love that name and I was going to use it. <laughs> so we're just kind of like, no, whatever feels right, we're going to do. Without so, anyone else's input, even if that sounds horribly rude. Well, we're the parents, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of okay. our jurisdiction. <laughs> it's not rude to use our jurisdiction according to whatever we want yeah. to use it. So. Also, oh, oh buddy boy. Also, naming people is difficult because you have to decide something that they're going to have to deal with for the rest of their life. Yeah. And uh, we want to make so sure it's cute. the right one. Yes. We like to pray about it too, make sure that it feels correct and it doesn't feel like awful or wrong for some reason. Even if it's a perfectly good name, it might not fit the baby. So we have the name. Do we want to say what we were going to name him first? Yeah. We were going to name his first name Lee. L-E-E. Because -E. that's Rebecca's maiden name. And we were like, well, that, that could work because... That's a good boy's that's first a name. a good boy's first name. And like... I know a couple people named Lee. I think it's a cool name. And it was my maiden name. So it's just kind of like a cool family name that we could use because we have a different last name, Beach. So I was like... But we decided to go with... Wait. What? That was the name that we were that we were stuck on for a whole month. Like, 100%, yes. this is his name, nobody said it yet. Right. Nobody in the comments said it at all. I was so, so Yeah, shocked. nobody guessed Lee once. Yeah. So weird. Anyways, you can say it now. But the name we decided officially to go with for the first name is the name of her grandpa. Yes. Which is Max. Yes. And I was... we use Lee as the middle name. Yep, so his official name is Max Lee Beach. And it just fits. I think it feels right. Do you think it feels right? I the thing is, I keep right. looking at him and thinking, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charlie fits better for some reason. <laughs> but that's just because no. when I think of a newborn or a baby, because <laughs> Charlie's our youngest, yes. Charlie, <laughs> always, I just want to call him Charlie. <laughs> Charlie the sequel. Charlie 2. <laughs> 2.0. But then I was like, no, he needs to have his own unique name. <laughs> of course. Of course. And actually, we were both decided officially that we were like, okay, well, we can't use any names that start with the same letter. K or Ch or Ellie. They're, none or of our new kids can have the name that starts with J or C or E. Because, because I it's go, too confusing. Charlie, Ch Corbin, Ch James. We get Car Corbin and Charlie mixed up all the time because they so both start much. with C. Which is weird because it's a K and a CH. But I think our mind just get it thinks C. Mixed up. And so we're like, okay, it has to start so with something mind. different. So M, Max. So there will be no more kids, if we have any more kids, that start with the letter M, J, C, or E. Oh, I can't we're, even imagine being a mom in a family that has all kids that start with the same letter. Like in my family? Oh. It was Matthew, Michael, Melissa, what? Melanie, Michael, Matthew, Marshall. And that would just be like, Michael! <laughs> so, um, for the month leading up to this baby being born, we were thinking it was going to be. You mean leading up to Max, Max being, being born? I'm so Hard used to getting used that. to that. <laughs> um, but I was completely planning on it being, on his name being Lee. But then I, something just changed and I started feeling good about the name Max, which is my grandpa's name. I've never met my grandpa. This is my mom's dad. I, I've never really known him, but I have felt close to him, like in spirit. Max started to feel like a good name to me and 
Lee started to not feel so good for a first name. And I was kind of thinking that um, and feeling that way. And then something really cool happened. I had, I had been on Instagram and one of my friends was like, my son, Max, I named him after my grandpa. And he just, I don't know, like just her, just hearing that and like how, like she had all these sweet things to say about her son and how adorable he is and how he's just such a good kid. And I was like, wow. Right after I had kind of decided already that I liked the name Max and thought about that one seriously for naming him, then I see that and I'm like, whoa, I think that's the right name. Like it just feels right. And that was kind of a reassuring thing to me to make me go, okay, I think that's right. And when I was a kid, I remember actually loving the name Max. And so I felt like it was a good name too. So we are here in the hospital still with the new baby boy. <laughs> and James and Ellie and Corbin and Charlie just got here and they are so excited to be able to meet for the very first time their new baby brother. <laughs> Rebecca. So <laughs> Rebecca's just been resting and so have I like all day just trying to recover because we were up <laughs> late all night long. Yeah, it was all night. <laughs> That's right. I went to bed when the sun came up, but so, I was working all night long. That's right, you sure were. So <laughs> we are ready to meet brothers and sisters there on the hall. We're going to invite them in right now and get their first reaction to seeing their brother. And then each of them is going to get a turn to hold him. Yeah. And they still haven't heard his name yet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to tell them what his name is. Yeah. So excited. Are you ready to meet I your brothers? Like he started getting really happy and then he's like, can I see you? <laughs> so happy. Okay, do you want to sit on the bed? Yeah. And I'll let you hold him? Yeah. Okay, and then I'll invite the so other many. kids coming in here. Okay. He's been sleeping so good. <laughs> he's just totally out of it. He sleeps really well when he's being held. It's adorable. Here's buddy boy. There we go. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I've missed you for that second. Are you ready to meet your brothers and little and big uh. sister? Okay, I'm gonna go get them now. Okay. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, yes. come on in. That's your new brother. Hey. <laughs> Is that pretty cute? Yeah. So cute. So, what do you guys think? Look at how much hair he has. <laughs> he has more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Proportionate wise, I think you're right. I love that baby. Can I hold it? Are your yeah. hands all clean, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, everybody can wash their hands. <laughs> <laughs> He's still so chubby. Look at that little mouth. <laughs> I think we should do uh, youngest to oldest. Yes. I think we should start with Charlie. So we're gonna we're gonna start with Charlie first. And then we'll do Ellie, and then Corbin, and then James. Are you guys so happy? Okay, <laughs> come on over here, bud. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And then Mom's gonna let you hold him. Look at him. Guess what? He's gonna be your buddy. Yeah. He's your friend. Yeah. Can I look at your belly? Oh, it's gone. It's not too big anymore. Now can you push your Do you have your um your other baby? This is the baby. This baby was in my belly and he came out. Did he pop out? He did. <laughs> <Right out. laughs> okay now sit down, put your feet forward. 
in front of you, like that. You know, put your arms out. His head is really, really wobbly, guys. So you have to kind of hold underneath his head and make sure. Hold his head. Yeah, hold under his head. Good job. You're doing a great job, Charlie. Oh, cute. He's gonna be my daddy. Yes, he is. <laughs> Can we go home? Can we we'll go going, home? We'll be going yeah. home in a couple you days. You wanna bring him home? Yeah. <laughs> because he's so cute. <laughs> Can I hold him so much? He'll get a turn. Everybody will. <laughs> Look at those lips. His chin. Because, well, let's let everybody get a turn to hold him first, and Want then you'll get yeah. on the forehead. Oh, that was so sweet. <laughs> You're gonna be a good big brother, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> you like holding him? Yeah. <laughs> You're next, Sally. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you excited to hold him? Yeah. Um, I love him. You're a good big brother. <laughs> okay, now it's Ellie's turn to hold him. Uh, <laughs> nice. Heavy. You're a heavy boy. It's okay. <laughs> he was smiling. He was smiling. Okay, now remember what I said? You gotta make sure that your hand goes underneath his head so that he doesn't flop his head around because he doesn't have a strong neck right now, okay? All right. Okay, Good job, Ellie. Okay, Ellie. <laughs> Look at that big baby it's yawn. <laughs> What do you think? Cute. I remember the first time when you announced that he's he was so cute. I'm small. Yep. You used to be that small too. <laughs> yeah. All of you guys used to be just that same size. Yeah. And guess what? Tiny little baby. Actually, all of you guys were smaller than this. He's the biggest he's we've had. He's the biggest baby we've ever had. What? <laughs> Well, Charlie was the smallest, fly. then James was the second smallest, then Ellie, and you were the biggest, but now he's even bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> then you were. Can he walk? Because you're bigger than him now. <laughs> Can he walk? No, he can't walk. He can't do anything. He's just a tiny little baby. Like Milo. He can't walk and he can't talk. All he can do is cry and sleep <laughs> and eat. Can he What did the baby say? <laughs> he said, "Oh, he's he's eating something in his sleep." <laughs> he said, "I love Ellie so much." <laughs> Ellie so much. <laughs> Last time, in this exact room, you and you. Saw Ellie for the first time. In this exact this same room. room. <laughs> like in this exact, <laughs> in this <laughs> exact <laughs> bed. In this exact hospital, in this exact room, in this exact bed. You met Ellie. So I was and you here. had a little green motorcycle. We have footage of it. That's actually. right. <laughs> All you need is the house. We can get the new house soon. <laughs> James, that's your little sister. Okay, are you ready I for them? Mine too. So you just gotta make sure you put a hand underneath his head because he can't hold his own head up yet. Good. Oh yeah, hold it really good, kind of where I'm. Do you have? Good job, Corbin. Close your eyes. It's a big yawn. <laughs> Mom, I can see your back. I know, it's okay. What do you think, Corbin? Good. Pretty special, huh? 
<laughs> He's just the sweetest little baby, just like you were. He looks a little bit like Charlie right now. When I can't see his double chin. <laughs> <laughs> double chin? <laughs> yeah. Charlie, did you have a double chin? No. No. I guess he's considered one of the large babies because of how... He's almost nine pounds. He's almost nine pounds. So chin. he's had to have um, glucose checks to make sure that he's got his... But he's... He was at... He had to be over 50. He was 51 on the first one. <laughs> and then he went up to... 65 or something, so he's got milk. He's been, he's been eating. <laughs> Is that your double chin? <laughs> when you were a baby, you really had one, just like him. I you did. Is it a little bit? Is it a little bit scary holding him? No. No. <laughs> he's gonna so cry. Gonna of his yeah. He's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Are you excited? All right, it's James's turn. Yay, we got the new baby. He was more baby hungry than I'm good to anyone. To you. <laughs> Are you nervous? You know what, Charlie? Yes. yes. <laughs> You're gonna do great. It'll be okay. Did you know babies Kay. cry a lot, and it's okay if they cry. You just have to take care of them when they cry. Do you think James can hold them on his own? Yeah. I think so too. But you'll have to hold underneath his head, really good, kind of where my hand is, underneath his neck a little bit. Like right here. Good. Oh, big brother and little brother. Littlest brother. <laughs> Is he heavier or lighter than you thought? He's heavier than I thought. <laughs> I was carrying him around in my belly all this time. No wonder I was so grumpy all, all the time. <laughs> He's heavy. <laughs> Do you no. think he's cute? Yeah. <laughs> Is he what you thought he would be? When I was little, yeah. I thought babies used to be like this small when they came out. And this was their hands. They're big. And this was their feet. This was their body. Yeah. And it was actually not. <laughs> it was bigger than I thought yeah. when I was little. Look, I babies, when they're sleeping, they'll sometimes go like this. They'll like pretend to to eat. Like they're dreaming about eating. They're going... Mm -hmm. You're kind of doing that right now. <laughs> He's dreaming about food. Do you ever dream about food, James? Hot dogs. <laughs> milk. Pizza. Chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna order Strawberry pizza. Now. <laughs> we are gonna order pizza. Cool. What do you think, bud? It's yeah. hurting my hand. <laughs> 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 <'Cause it's so laughs> are you guys ready to hear what his name is? Uh -huh. yeah. Becca, do you want to say it or do you want me to? You can say it. Okay, his name is going to be Max. Max? Yeah. That's a good name. I thought of that a long time ago. <laughs> like, I when we were like, like this is it Max? I was thinking yeah. about this morning. Isn't that cool? And his middle name is Lee. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Max we Lee Beach. Doctor just came and checked on both of them. Oh. Yeah, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Did as you get good some as good I sleep? Have for just having a baby. Yeah. As as it's been a it's been a day and a half now. It's been yeah. what thirty six hours I think. Yeah. How about you, Mac, you boy? He's got a bubble. He's got a bubble. Very upset. Oh yeah, he's got a bubble for sure. Is it bubbles in the belly? He's so strong. He's lifting up his head. He keeps lifting up his head, huh? <laughs> 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 I'm going crazy. I think I'm a roller coaster ride or something. <laughs> so we're just getting ready to check out of the hospital here actually. So the doctor came and said everything's looking great. Baby's looking great. Mama's looking great. And so normally they keep us for 48 hours in the hospital. Um, but because everything's looking great, he said we could probably go home. Right. So we kind of get to decide if we want to stay an extra day and pay for that or just 
go home after. So the doctor did say that we could leave uh, Friday morning if we wanted to, but we're going to be leaving Thursday kind of evening-ish. I think he said maybe right after dinner. So we're going to get some dinner. Uh, they're going to bring Becca some food and then we'll get everything else packed up and probably head out right after she's done eating. And uh, go home and see the kids and I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really fun to be able to bring Max home finally and get to be home with the kids and get him in his own bed and into his own clothes because he's still wearing just like a hospital gown. Same with you. It's always, it's always fun going home from the hospital and seeing Rebecca wear normal clothes again. This is the first time I've gone out of this, like I went out of this room this uh -huh. time. This hospital stay. Uh -huh. um, first time I ever went to the nursery was last night. And for you to be able to see like how much your belly has changed because yeah. last you were wearing normal clothes, you were like full-blown pregnant and yeah. your belly is a lot smaller now than it was. Oh my goodness. I, I was getting to that uncomfortable point where nothing fit me anymore and even the pregnancy clothes were like riding up and there was a little slit of, sh of belly showing <laughs> So You could even look at my Instagram post <laughs> from when I was sitting in the driver's seat of the car trying to be funny because my belly was reaching the steering wheel without even realizing that I had a slit of belly showing at the bottom yep. of my shirt. <laughs> so after dinner in a little bit we're gonna get packed up and go home. I'm so excited! Okay, you ready to get all changed and packed up and ready to go home? Yeah. Max is sleeping. Just Look at his cute hair. Accent. He's got a full head of hair, that's for sure. His little full hawk. <laughs> And we got our bags packed. Chilling, uh, shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Is that what it is? <laughs> He's maxing. Relaxing. Oh, relaxing. <laughs> okay, you get changed. And I'm going to take some of this stuff out to the car and bring okay. the car closer, I think. Sounds good. Okay. I got to of stuff. I'm going to take it up to the car. Alright, and I've got a baby that I just need to get ready. Get in the car seat, and now we're ready to go. Oh, that's a good yawn. All buckled up and ready to go home. Okay, guys, we are all checked out. They just have to take off the little security band around his leg, and then we are out of here. He's got this on here to protect him, so if he gets close to the stairwell, it'll lock down all the doors. Okay, we're ready to go. Now that, that is a beautiful sight. Time to go home. Yay. He's all buckled in, and mad at us now. <laughs> <laughs> And I have my jello. This is my favorite part of staying in the hospital. Is that weird? I love jello. Okay, let's go to the nurse's station. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, hospital room. Goodbye. It's been very nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're heading out. <laughs> Alright, got the baby in the car. Okay. Is it level? <laughs> yep, it's level. Alright. Yay! Thank you very much. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> Yay, we got another one! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Oh. Let's go home. Let's yes. get him all comfortable in his own bed. Yes. In his own clothes, in his own space. It's going to be so nice. It's so weird because we have not left this hospital since we had him. Yeah, you like didn't either. You had food brought to you. I didn't leave once. I feel like we're in like a different, like we're almost like we're on an island. And we're we can't get on, marooned. We can't get off. We have to <laughs> wait for hospital. people to send. You know, send food, send help. We're trapped. <laughs> send resources. <laughs> we can't leave and help ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it just take me five minutes. But yeah. It's anyway, nice. it's good to be there with you the whole time. Oh, 
It was so good. When I had Charlie, I was at the hospital by myself, not, not for the delivery part. Michael was there for the delivery part, which was a couple days before CBX Live. But um, he left shortly after for the rest of the stay, the extra two days after, so that he could be with um, everyone else for CVX Live because it was our first CVX Live and it was so important. And I had been working on it all up until I had Charlie. <laughs> so it was nice to have a chance oh. to be able to stay with you the whole time and not leave once. It was so nice. I needed you there and I didn't cry once. But when I had Charlie, I cried a lot because I was by myself. But I wanted Michael not to be there because I, he needed to be at CVX. So, anyways. <laughs> The baby's back here! We can't see him! There he is. He's good. Yay! Alright, we're home. We just pulled in. We had the kids turn off the force, or the... The force... The hologram. The we had the kids turn off the generator. hologram generator, so... <laughs> everything looks good here. You feeling alright? Yeah. Yeah? You haven't been this up in a mobile for a while. Oh, his little hat. All right, Maxie, baby. Come here, big boy. Oh, there we go. Let's get you undone here. You just want to start walking in ha inside? Yeah, I'll get the kids ready, too. Okay. I got him here. I'll come back and grab all of our other stuff later. Ooh, it's windy outside. We're home! They must be downstairs. Maybe watching a movie. Are they in the front room watching a show? No? Let's just go hide in our bedroom. They'll never know we're here. out of here because I do not think that looks very comfortable. You see to get out there big guy? He's sleeping pretty good. There we go. Made it home. You made it home buddy. Okay I just laid him down inside of his crib. He's just relaxing. Oh. Oh, the sweetie boy. The sweet boy. There we go. There's a little blanket. There we go. We're home, bud. What do you think of that, huh? You slept through the whole thing. Fell asleep in the hospital and you wake up at home. Yeah. Hi! 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 Where's the new baby? Max is asleep right now. He's sleeping in his crib. He's just Hi. sleeping. He's so cute. We're home he's, now. He's, he grew a little bit more hair. Yeah? I'm not pregnant anymore. At least that's what he looks like. What did he say? He said, you're not pregnant. She's said, not pregnant oh. anymore. I said, I'm not pregnant anymore. He, he said, yeah, you are. I still, have, I still see a baby. <laughs> the baby. He's just sleeping He's just sleeping now. What's the baby's name? Here, let's put this Max. Over. That's right, Max. Max. Max is just hey. sleeping. Hey. Maybe when he wakes up later, you guys can each hold him again. Does that sound good? Our hands are clean. Good. And he's I have smiling. He's smiling. He's oh, smiling. He's smiling. Is he smiling? He was smiling like really big. Who still has their bands on? Uh, I, I have the most. I win. 
Mom has the most friendship bracelets. Yes, I have mine. Good job, buddy. They're socks. Socks? Isn't that funny? That's to help make sure he doesn't scratch his face. Oh, so he can rest. He's got little nails right now. He's thinned his, well, he's gotten less swollen. That's Mom's special treat. I'll put this in the very top of the fridge. It's mine, and I'm saving it for you. We got it! He saw the camera, so he wanted to give he's us like, a big toothy grin. He's like, <laughs> he's like in all sorts of places right now. <laughs> all the kids have been taking turns holding him. He's like, and being sweet to him. <laughs> he's just so cute. Yeah, he sure is. It's good to be home. Yeah, he's having a dream right now. You see his little eyelids moving around a lot. Yeah. That's having a dream. <laughs> well, he was smiling in his dream a second ago, so yeah, I wonder that what... was a big smile. I always wonder what newborns are smiling about. Angels. Unicorns. Unicorns, I guess. Unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, let's do your arm like this. Here, let me let me move it there. There. Now you, the baby can kind of lay on your arm like that. <laughs> Doggy! Hi, Charlie. <laughs> we should do some photo shoot tomorrow, maybe with yeah. all the kids. Yeah! That'd be really fun. <laughs> he has a puddle for a neck and a chin. Look at that. <laughs> His face. Charlie, is it your bedtime? It's kind of getting kind of late already. Yeah, it's kind of late, but that's okay. I'm not done. Okay, good, Charlie. <laughs> well, guys, we're home. We made it. Everything was a big success at the hospital, and we're so excited to be back in the comfort of our own space, yes. our own bedroom, our own clothes. And our clothes. And our clothes, in that's our right. our own clothes. <laughs> In our clothes. I think that he remembers all of your voices, and he's smiling with your voices and crying with your voices. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you for all of your love and support, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.